What is DevTime Orchestration? I'm David Feller, Distinguished Engineer at Microsoft. .NET Aspire provides APIs for creating applications made up of multiple resources. Let's take a look at an application to see how we can build it using the Aspire DevTime Orchestration. Here I have an application made up of three resources, two projects, one front-end Blazor application, talking to a back-end API service, and a cache. Let's build this using the Aspire Dev Orchestration APIs. I'm going to change to Visual Studio. And you can see my application has four projects, the Aspire app host, and my API service, and my front-end web project. In the program CS, we have this distributed application builder that we're going to use to build our application. So the first thing I'll do is I'll add a reference to our project. I can add the web front end, let's call it web front end. And I'm going to also add a reference to our backend project. Doing this will allow Aspire to build and run these projects as part of my overall distributed application. Now, I need to be able to reference the backend API for my front end project. So I'm going to declare a variable that stores the backend reference. And I'm going to use this with reference method to reference the API service from my web front end. That allows the web front end to call the API service using Aspire. Now, you notice I don't have any ports or any configuration being passed. Donut Aspire abstracts that notion away from developers and helps you build applications by linking um, objects via with reference. I also need a cache. So let me create a cache here that's going to run in our container by adding Redis. All right. So now our web front end has a reference to both the cache and to the API. That allows it to, to call into those things easily. Let's look at this application running. As you can see, we're in the dashboard, which you'll learn more about in other videos. But you can see I have my cache running in a container and my API service and web front end running locally on my machine as projects. I can see the endpoints for each of those APIs. I can run the application. You get it in a single view. You can also see the container running in Docker Desktop. Here's my cache running. So Aspire will orchestrate all those things running on your local machine in containers remotely all into a single .NET based API. All right. You aren't limited to just having resources that are built into Aspire. So I can use Redis. I can use um, projects. I can also do things like add a container and I can also add an executable. So if you have any process or container that runs locally or can be pulled down to your machine, that can be run as part of your project as well. Now, we have a catalog of, of libraries that are pre-built that ship with Aspire. If I right click on, on the project, I click on Add, Aspire Project, you can see I get an entire set of libraries all um, built for Aspire, including things like Dapper, RabbitMQ, Node.js, Azure packages, um, packages for AWS. There's a huge, um, rich library of resource packages that we offer to you by default in Aspire. So for example, here's um, add npm app. You can also see MongoDB, MySQL, Postgres, all the packages that, that you just saw there in my IntelliSense. That was a whirlwind tour of the Aspire APIs. One of my favorite parts of using Aspire is I get to use C Sharp to build my application. I don't have to use YAML or any config format. I can use the power of C Sharp and .NET to model any application.